So the probability that the two of you do not share the same birthday is 365 over 365 times 364 over 365 which gives us a 99.72% chance that the two of you do not have the same birthday. Seems simple right? Now let's scale up the number of people to see where it gets us. Let's say that you walk into a room and, surprise, your friends have thrown you a birthday party. 22 of your closest friends and family members have shown up, which makes you the 23rd person in that room. Now what is the probability that no two people in that room have the same birthday? You can have any birthday you want so any of the 365 days in the year could be your birthday. Now how many birthdays is your friend Rachel allowed to have? Well she can be born on any of the other 364 days of the year and as long as she isn't born on the one day that you are, there won't be any overlapping birthdays. Now what about your friend Lola? How many possible days is she allowed to have for her birthday without any overlap? There are 365 days in the year and she isn't allowed to share a birthday with you or Rachel. So that leaves her with 363 possible days that she can be born in without having any overlap with you or Rachel. Now what about your friend Steve? Well it's obvious. He is only allowed to be born in 362 days of the year without there being any overlapping birthdays. This is because there are 365 days in the year and he can't have the same birthday as you or Rachel or Lola. Which leaves him with 362 days of the year. Now if we keep this process going for all 23 people at the party, and put the long equation into a calculator we can see that the probability that none of them have the same birthday is 49%. That's less than 50%. This means that the probability that two people do have the same birthday is 51%. Which means the birthday paradox was true all along. And it's not even a paradox to begin with. It's just simple probability at work. Follow for more cool math facts.